Welcome to the Shortwave Radio channel and this is another video to explain some of the basic features and of course it's for the beginner so this is another video in our Shortwave for Beginners series. Um, I thought we'd do a little bit of checking out the different terms and terminology and abbreviations that you find on receivers and on uh, if you look at you know an ad or if you look at the box of a radio what does all the little gibberish lettering and and what what does it all mean exactly so we're going to start with something that is often on a radio and it's called pll and sometimes it says pll synthesized what is pll on a radio so receivers come in different forms there's analog radios there's um, analog radios that have PLL synthesized uh, tuning and of course there are DSP receivers which have digital signal processing. The difference is that a PLL synthesized receiver has a reference. It's, it's called phase lock loop and what that does is actually make sure that the accuracy of the display of frequency is good. So in general, a PLL synthesized receiver will be more accurate in its frequency display. Also, it will drift less. It doesn't mean it can't drift at all. But in general, and especially in 2020, all modern receivers have almost no drift. So basically what a PLL synthesized receiver does is it has kind of a, a reference clock, if you want. And it always checks the frequency according to that reference to make sure that the frequency is displayed correctly. So that makes the precision of the tuning a little better. So a receiver can, of course, not have PLL and then there are only analog receivers. These are less precise in frequency tuning and these are less, uh, the are, are actually um, prone to having some drift a little more than regular receivers. So it's a good thing if you see a PLL synthesized receiver when you try to buy a radio. It means that its display will be more accurate in general and will also drift less. And that's the basic of what you need to know about you know phase lock loop. We're not going to go into details of how it works. So PLL one of the features you want to see on a radio when you actually purchase a shortwave receiver. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.